Today in the Cool Stuff Guys Like channel, I'm gonna show you how I installed a duct booster fan into my HVAC system. And probably what you're most interested in is how I actually wired that into my furnace so that it only turns on when the blower is on. The duct booster that I'm gonna be using is a Turnland DB2, which uses a squirrel cage type fan. And my furnace is a Train XR95. This is from around 2012, but for the most part, the fundamentals of it shouldn't have really changed much. Since I'll be installing this into a rectangular piece of ductwork instead of a round section, I first had to flatten out the flange that goes around our duct booster. Next, we're gonna go ahead and mark the hole that we need to cut. There's a template provided in the instructions for the Turnland duct booster. You should be able to do this with tin snips if you're working with modern ductwork. My old ductwork is crazy thick. Uh, so I chose to do it with a cutoff wheel on an angle grinder. It did create a lot of sparks, so beware, especially if you're doing this around anything flammable. With our rectangular hole cut, I next marked and drilled holes for mounting the duct booster. I used sheet metal screws. The booster that I got for some reason didn't come with these speed clips, but I found that the sheet metal screws worked perfectly fine. With the booster mounted, now we can talk about how we're gonna wire this thing. I ran a section of 14-2 wire between the booster and the furnace. Before you go ahead and take the front cover off your furnace, make sure to shut off the breaker so that you don't have any power to it. On the circuit board of your furnace, you should find a circuit called EAC1, EAC2, or HUM. The EAC circuits are gonna be for an electric air cleaner. In the case of my train furnace, they provide 120 volts AC power for an electric air cleaner of up to one amp of draw. Well, this blower has a max draw of one half amp and actually while in operation, it's gonna be something more like 0.35 amps. So that circuit will work perfectly fine for us to hijack. You can also use the humidifier circuit. Just make sure that it can handle the load that this blower is gonna put on it. After finding that wire and following it off the circuit board, I found that it went right into the main junction box of my furnace where it's hardwired to my house. And to my surprise, the actual wire is labeled EAC2 for the EAC2 circuit. This is the hot wire that's gonna provide power only when the blower is on. I went ahead and wired my 14-2 wire to this circuit. So I wired the hot black wire to the black hot EAC2 wire. I wired the white neutral wire to the main white bundle. So this is gonna have my main house power going into it, the power provided to the furnace. It's also gonna be what's the neutral for my humidifiers tied to. So you might find that there's gonna be a couple wires tied to that neutral. And then we're gonna go ahead and use the ground wire of our 14-2 and ground it with the other ground wires in our junction box here. Make sure to use the right size wire nuts here and give everything a good tug. Make sure there's no loose wires or anything involved. I wired a switch in line. I just used a normal switch that you'd use for a light switch in one of your rooms of your house. I think this is important because in the summer, I'm for the most part gonna wanna run the duct booster all the time, but in the winter, I might not. I might find that I'm getting plenty of heat upstairs and I don't necessarily wanna blow extra volume of air up there. And then at the actual duct booster, it's really straightforward. You've got your hot power wire, a neutral wire, and a ground wire. So you'll just go ahead and connect the wires coming out of your switch into each one of those wires, again, using wire nuts, and then you can go ahead and close it all up and turn the power back on to the system. I'm not sure if you can hear right now, but the duct booster is running. It's really very quiet. I hope this DIY video helped you out. If it did, please mention something in the comments. That really helps me out. If you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching.